overall, is, um, good episode, like though. Says, it's like it. He likes the concept, whatever, why I was killed by mistake. But I mean, that's kind of like mm. what we assume as the player anyway, don't we? We don't think that his father would ever kill anyone because everyone's saying that. Oh, Idris is saying over on YouTube that Kowloon was pretty much a district of Hong Kong. So not really mm, needed okay. distinction. Okay, that's fair. That okay, that makes sense because because in the games it was like a, it was very separate. It was yeah. Like, it felt like you're going to a new divided off, city, it? didn't it? it was very separate. Yeah. That's true as well, honey. You can't just leave, can you? I don't think you can't just end up like the next episode can't just start in Kowloon, right? Well, can it? It can. I think it will. It can, but I feel like it needs some more context than that, like. You must go to Kowloon next. So I wonder, they right. might mention it by name early on. Cause... Or what about like, I suppose he doesn't say goodbye to Joy anyway, does he? He bumps into Joy and she's a bit pissed. And he hasn't said bye to the He hasn't the said bye really to guys. Fang Mei. Or Fang Mei, yeah. I mean, he doesn't need to say goodbye to anyone, but... Right, my theory with this, my theory with the counter elbow assault, I don't know about the leaf catching, but counter elbow assault and possibly leaf catching together... Is obviously when Rio fights Dol Neo, um, when they find Zhu, Zhu Ying saves him, right? Okay. So they. So could, are you they adamant could... that they're not going to skip Count Draldo? I can't see how it's a massive story point. It's a massive story. You don't think point. they're just going to swallow dive? <laughs> I hope. I hope not. I because Count Draldo is a big story point. It, yeah, it's about the whole getting your mind serene, clear like a polished mirror, sort of thing. So I do wonder, I do wonder whether they'll do it when she saves him and he wakes up in the mm -hmm. orphanage, or he might even wake up back at Manmo Temple or so, or like her apartment. What's the bit where she's in the church? Is that what you mean when that's he wakes the, up in the church? That's the orphanage, isn't it? So, assuming they start the next episode, right? And there's still a bit of context to go. I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to get any more on the Zimming thing because that would feel a bit weird. Possibly, I don't know. Unless with it being a new episode, they could. They might save it for later on, especially after the rooftop, yeah. etc. And he does eventually leave the Guilin. But I mean, they've shown everything that there is to show in a sense of the Zimming. They stuff. have. They've. It's been... just she hasn't really said anything about it, has she? No, but she needs to. Again, it's a story point. I think that's quite an imperative point of the story because when he leaves Hong Kong, eventually yeah, for Guilin, he does say, um, "I know how your brother felt, and you too know how he felt as he leaves." And I just, yeah. I just wonder with that symbolism there of that whether they'd miss that out because it seems quite a key point to leave. Like the leaf catching, the serene, you know, mind clear like a polished mirror. I think they've got to. They've got to. I wonder if things quite iconic in it for us. I wonder if they'll do them in Kowloon and integrate it in that way. I mean, they did the wood very well here in integrating it into the wider story context. Could they not move it? I suppose they could have him like with his bag on his shoulder, and then he's like, he's, he goes up to Chewing and says, "Look, I'm, I'm." I mean, he did just say, "I'm, I'm leaving," but. Mm. Interesting. It's felt good fast. episode. Really good episode. Good episode. It felt a lot faster. Yeah, crazy didn't fast it? again. I it did feel what, like a ten-minute episode again. I see what people are saying that the last two episodes, which slowed down, I think you appreciate them more because of the pace of this one. And it was literally yep. story point, story point, story point, story point. Game, game. It was literally game, game, game. Wasn't all the way through, with like a different twist on how they sort of pieced it together, which was um, I quite enjoyed it. Quite, quite enjoyed it. A little bit disappointed we haven't had Counter Album Assault yet. I thought we were getting it. Um, but then I Which, think it's cool. If, if you get it, then you're not going to be disappointed anymore. It's just at the moment, <laughs> it feels like yeah, skipping it. Just, it but it, I don't, it's just weird. I don't know. It feels, him saying goodbye. It feels well, not odd. goodbye, but he says, I'm leaving. It feels odd, doesn't it? It feels odd. She will follow him. Zhuing will follow him. I am convinced. Absolutely convinced. It's how then they just do it. Um, I think they might. I think he says another together. goodbye too soon. I mean, I don't know. It's just with with us knowing like about the anime, they could literally start off in Kowloon and you know, and flash back in or something. I mean, we've got four episodes, haven't we? Now so you could do possibly. Pa Paddy just possibly. said it there. 10, 11, 12, Wall City, thirteen, meet Shenhua. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that happening. 
What have you... It depends how far they're going to go like that. If they're going to do the rooftop fight, you're going to have the smoke and mirrors thing, aren't you, probably? Because mm -hmm. that's integral. Mm -hmm. And then Bren's going to throw a knife at the map. Is it going to end there? Or is it going to carry on, do you think, and bump into Shenfoir? I could at some you know some sort of thing even if it's just the river i could see them doing, with you. doing something in the credits again to finish it <clears throat> so that and then have a the story goes on <laughs> yeah probably message yeah i could see them doing that at the end they like he meets shenhua in the credits in but Wuling. then having said that mate if if he's already there you're talking like another two minutes and you could literally wrap up Guilin, couldn't you you could before Shenmue three. Yeah, if, you, know, yeah, you could absolutely. It seems weird not to do that, right? Like, why would the end? Realistically, now, I if wanna... there is a thirteenth episode finale closes cliffhanger thing. What's the difference in the ending on the rooftop, or just having another five minutes more of him heading to Guilin, meeting Shenfua, and then people can then jump into Shenmue three, can't they, if they want to? the game whereas if the end on the rooftop that's it that is the end like we said before there's a chunk that they're going to miss if they jump into Shenmue oh, yeah, 3 and then, like you said just a second ago with the cave obviously they, they started episode 1 in the cave like, like but that, then again like Paddy says he doesn't want to rush that meeting because that is quite good it's like there's a few good things it's 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 gauging the the difference between having that at an end of a thing it's the same sort of thing with Shenmue 2 is it worth that you know that whole two hours that two hour segment walking through the forest is that good that it's at the end of a game because you've had your action stage you know it's it's a, a wind down mm. or is it better suited for the start of the next thing because he could you know. he could just meet her save the deer and meet her I'm Shenhua and then it then cuts to the cave again to end it where they are a story goes on and then the opening episode of season two they could fill in some of those gaps like the, the journey you could do that in five minutes couldn't you the journey up to to the cave well that's what people are saying they hope they don't rush it in five minutes i mean they, they could do essentially the way the anime is going but there is a lot of like nice things just on that journey as well isn't there? there's i mean the thing you've saving got... the deer making a campsite I mean, visiting her house what you'd need in that really from a story perspective i think is you need to save her and the deer. That that's imperative. That's how you meet her. I can't. I don't think you can get rid of that. The 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 cave and her singing, etc. You could I lose like it. that because he talks to the friends, though, don't I it? Know. It reminds. That's. But you could. That lose... would help as well because then you could give more context then to why they made such a big deal out of Goro and all these side characters from the first game, or it just helps. The people that have watched the anime for 13 episodes as well to kind of like remember certain characters they could do, again they could do it fairly quickly flashbacks or whatever but I, they could do that in the opening of season two they could leave it they could leave it and do it then and then sort of season two you sort of has the cave bit early and then you start your investigation in Bailey village as to what that's going to look like but also you've got to consider our house you got the you got all the cutscenes like Luang the, the the tapestry on the wall. You have got the plans for the mirrors, as well. Um, I mean, don't forget that they did say it was going to cover most of Shenmue too. They didn't say all of it. Now, is that a red herring? Or that's uh, what's always thrown me. That's what's always thrown me. And like Hannah says, the first episode of season two could be their walk and talk, loads of flashbacks. But like I say, is that do, do you start? A, something where you're trying to entice viewers i don't know if you could do that for a full episode of talking no yeah. i mean if they structured it similar to the first episode of season one of this season you've got the karate tour and we've got some talking you've got action sort of straight away so i don't know how they're going to do it in that regard mm. if they did do it that way um and some i think it was retro was saying in in chat that he doesn't think rio will fight landy on the rooftop i don't know if they'll fight but i wonder if landy will be stood on the rooftop because if you look at the opening credits, they're face to face, and there's stuff coming up well, the ground. Look at your, your image on the bloody yeah, the stream there, here. mate. Then he's doing the cowboy elbow assault there, isn't he? Cow Why do I keep saying cowboy? <laughs> Counter elbow assault. Whether whether that happens or that's just art, I don't know. I am convinced they're coming face to face on the roof, and I think Rhea will have a go, and then something will stop that fight before it get before Landy just murks. Probably the probably there's no helicopter there. Maybe he's on the roof, and then his helicopter shows up mid-fight like this 
and the the blade wind and all that sort of stuff stuns everyone a bit because it's quite powerful right the wind from a helicopter <laughs> i mean this is and the... then he just jumps on his ladder and does money... one all right maybe money where your mouth is then four four episodes left where does it finish I'm going to say, I don't know, mate. I really don't know now. They, like you say, it's a red herring. I, I'd, I'd like, ideally, four episodes in Kowloon because, like people are saying, I think there's enough content there for four episodes easy. But then Cheers, it doesn't Joe. make sense then. Does, it doesn't really make sense to, like, have that walking, talking as the season opener next time, does it? Because then that's kind of the same dilemma they had when they were making the games. Mm, and I don't possibly. Think, I don't know if you could open a new season on something like that. It seems too slow. But and let I me. Mean, you could. So then, what, you... what about half an episode? Could I they think... do three and a half? So there's a cliffhanger at the end of the third episode to come, mm. where it's this still Rio and Landy. So that's the cliffhanger. It's like, oh my god, what's going to happen? And then you've fourth and final episode is like the continuation smoke and mirrors head into Guilin, bump into Chenfoir finish at the cave in like a 10 minute sort of, do you think they could do that in 10 minutes? They could do and then they could start flashing back in season two. I mean Vivi you are right sometimes finales are a bit longer in TV so we are forgetting they could do a longer episode. They could the do an extended one yeah, you could hey, say that's the Reyes. final thing it's going to be a 40 minute one a double bill could easily be which should be that would be amazing to be fair I'd that's quite, the way they do it yeah i'd quite happy if they went to do that i'm happy because then 40 minutes to end it i think that would do it that would absolutely yep. do it yeah let's have a quick look joe's sending me stuff again oh come on it's gonna be a weekly thing man but he is joe man this is um <laughs> great shots man absolutely love those shots i will i'll put them up in a minute let me just download them first um, good episode though. Maybe lands in Guila, and then we see Chamfoir, something, something. Yeah. Maybe in the game. Yeah, you're right. I think, from a sales and marketing point of view, they should end in the cave because then, like I say, people can just jump straight into a Shenmue Three then, and then they can market that and get more sales of Shenmue Three. And then people are caught up for Shenmue Four, even if there's no anime season two. Mm. If you know what I mean. If they leave it as a cliffhanger prior to that, there's still a chunk of story before people get into the Shenmue 3 aspect. So it, it just it seems to make more sense to just finish it, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? A lot of the paid fights in Kowloon will be skipped. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. I think Kowloon, yeah. you, you're going to do... Well, we'll watch the teaser in a minute, but and I want to show these <laughs> images that Joe sent me as well. Oh, forgot really about the well teaser. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we're, we're going to get... We'll get obviously Rio and Ren getting captured and escaping. I imagine we'll follow Yuan a bit, do some tailing. I imagine. Bird shops, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll get um, blind we'll guy tapes and um, explosive. Um, oh, what is it? What's that punch? I think we'll does? get the uh, the cassette Predict tape wire type stuff. I think. Predictive explosion. Predictive explosion. Master yeah, yeah. Bayou's confirmed. The, the voice actor's been confirmed for that. They're definitely doing that. So yeah. then you'll do scout. Maybe one fight. It's got to do the scout, yeah. Yellowhead, Bayou, Rooftop. Um, what about Yang at the start when they first go head over to Yang and then. Because they get the first lead from that, yeah. Yeah, I think they'll do it. Because you can just literally go, we're going to Yang's place, quick cut, Yang, go yeah. here, yeah. okay. You don't need to talk to the black suit, you just turn to a, a room, get your ass kicked, and then you're in, aren't you? You can do that in a couple that of minutes. Blind guy. Was he in the very first Shenmue 2 episode? I can't remember. When Rio got off the boat, he just got bumped into Joy, didn't he? No. the he blind, never saw the blind guy. The blind guy's on um, Dragon Street, isn't he? As you got come up to the steps. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just thinking if if that could set, suggest that there isn't going to be a blind guy because it's kind of like a, oh, I recognise you kind of moment. Or I suppose they could still do it anyway. I just... Because he's the guy who, who, who informs you to the scout. So... And he knows he wow. And he knows wow. Well. So I think they would could do it. I like the I do like the idea of a forty minute episode to end it. If if that's and there's a lot of do new. Go. We've got a lot of do new, haven't we, in those episodes? And I'm pretty sure when I interviewed him, he said he's done he's done like about three episodes worth of stuff.